Okay, so this is the first episode uh, in my series that I want to be talking about what I saw when I had my quick my quick brush with death. So let me say my quick um, exposure to the afterlife. Um, so, like I said before, I'm not a pastor. I'm not trying to preach to anybody. I've always believed that whatever you're doing, just do, man. It's none of my business, man. It's just it's you and God that would handle it. But the only thing I can do is at least I can talk about uh, what I saw. And, um, you know, like I said, I've discussed with a couple of pastors and they've found solid interpretation, solid, um, solid um, references of some of these things in the Bible. So for the Muslims that will be following this series, please, um, help me let me know if it um, resonates with whatever is in the Quran also and other religion so it happened on this particular day um, cold evening in India Rohini New Delhi so a friend of mine Mike here was celebrating his birthday and he said ah, Baba, I beg me will go more let me go celebrate my birthday about I beg come with your camera make you snap us for there uh, so I said, all right, nah, no problem. So I walked that, that, that evening, I stood from the bed, ready to eat the road, to go to the to the mall. But well, I don't know, I couldn't explain it. There was something holding me back. I just felt like just staying at home. So I said it, to, I told the guy that, bro, I don't know, man, but I just don't feel like going anywhere. My spirit doesn't want to go anywhere. So the guy said, ah, but I beg now, just try, just try. Like almost four times, I tried leaving my room and something just dragged me back to the bed. So, I went. Went to the place. It was fun. Took pictures. We had fun. We ate. And so we decided to go back home. We trekked back home. You know, we're just having fun. Cold winter evening in India. It was cold. We're having fun. You know. So, we got back um, to my apartment. Walking into the room some indians from nowhere just slapped me like so i switched to my small indie that i had learned then so i said baba kiawa the guy slapped me again said bike chalo i said Ari baba bike nay student air means the indian said i should carry my bike after slapping me then i was angry that i'm a student i don't own a bike then the next thing i just went upstairs i was just ranting that come on is this how you guys do in your country you see people and just start so i went to my room then the guys just came into my room a friend of mine that was at the door betrayed me though it was not that showed them where i was so they came into my room with baseball bats i didn't actually understand how powerful baseball bats were so they came in and they attacked me with baseball by the way aiming for my head somehow i was able to protect my head with my hand so they broke my bone so they left i didn't realize after they had gone i tried moving my hand i realized that they had broken my bone i had a terrible fracture oh more i felt bad my spirit was low i left nigeria in the midst of the chaos in bariga you know the madness there i wasn't attacked i didn't lose a bone now i'm in india they are brought now i'm being attacked so fast forward they said i had to go for surgery surgery care ah, you know you know the surgery i don't need i don't need agreements you i told you i wasn't going to have this, uh, the surgery so later i realized i had to do the surgery it was, it was old my bones were in brain again so i went for the surgery and um so I was worried before the surgery started that was going to happen to my hand. I saw them moving a lot of tools, scapula, chizu, driller, blah, blah, blah. I was like, on top of this hand, are you guys trying to cut the hand? So I was really scared. So they pushed a lot of things into my system. So lastly, they pushed um, the anesthesia into my system and I felt a violent painful violent painful and ash detachment of my spirit from my body it was a very painful one i felt something 
pull I felt that downward pull my body was up here and I felt I was I, I got sucked out of my body my spirit got sucked out of my body boom and everywhere was dark like it was just dark so then I started hearing voices then later I woke up in a dark place and in that particular street I saw lights dark streets unlike what I see in movies that you just see everywhere is just bright no it wasn't for me it was dark at night then I saw um, lights you know well illuminated streets well illuminated street at night then very organized peaceful I'm not sure I saw up to like up to 50 people on the streets I'm not sure I saw up to 50 I'm not I'm not sure so I just move in then I then I started this journey just like a tour guide I didn't take my time to even look at the person's face maybe a black white yellow green I didn't do that so I was just shown around so I saw things I had revelation I saw things I saw places uh, that would blow your mind you know things that had to do with our destinies and all like that so but for me to talk about that you have to subscribe and wait for the next um, episode because right now i need to just grab something real quick like i said it's creepy and it would make us understand a little bit more about the madness around us thank you andrew once again thank you